is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Burnt Reynolds. Hugh Blackman here. <laughs> <laughs> So, right. today we're going to be talking about a subject that a lot of people don't really talk about much, at least in a lot of circles that I've been a part of. It's called the wall. The wall can be defined as your stock value in the dating market. So, whether it is your attractiveness, whether it is your whatever your situation is, whether it's whatever job you have, whatever, like you said, whatever you're bringing to the table, it's whatever value you bring to the, your significant other when you're in the dating market. So in that regard, let's talk about the wall and how it is different between men and women. Because a lot of people have this misconception. They want things without knowing exactly how this whole concept works because it's pretty simple. It is, because some people believe they qualify. We, we talked about this earlier. You kind of went into yeah. detail. Qualify for certain things. So for some reason, a, a lot of women in particular believe no matter their current status in life, whether it's a career, anything they're going that's going on with them, children, or, or marital status, whatever, they all feel they deserve the six-figure man, the, the tall, the dark, you know, the, the Chads, the Tyrones. Um, I'm not dark. <laughs> or, you know, they, they deserve these amazing, wonderful men with all these amazing qualities. Well, if these amazing people are out here, which they are, these high-value men are out here, are they really going to want someone like you? And when I say someone like you, you got to actually take a look at yourself. What do you bring? If you're an average person or, you know, how you rate yourself, what do you have going on personally, um, other circumstances, family. So if you got kids and everything, do you think realistically um, the Chad or the Tyrone is going to really want a pre-made family? Yeah. Or you think they're going to be open to that, especially you have one, two, you know, baby fathers, you know, fathers of your children. Right. It's situations. So if I've got this, if I'm this high value man and I'm building these empires, I got all these things going on. I'm traveling. I'm doing this. I mean, right. I'm doing all these meetings. Am I going to really have time to set aside to deal with you and your situations, what's going on? Not knocking anybody who has children at all, but that's really what it is. Because yeah. when he's with you, that's he's taking that along as well. Right. And, you know, it comes down, like you said, qualifications and entitlement. So mm. yeah. you may think you're qualified for such a person, but in their eyes and probably many others' eyes... They may see you as just being entitled to that because you you have this, but you're not actual. So in the long game, you just got to learn to be be humble about situations, you know. It should be more about, it's the substance that we're talking about. Because a lot of times, women especially, when you ask what you bring, these looks, this body, this, this you know, the all this. And it's like, all right, if I were to give you, let's... Put the roles around. As a as a man, you come up to me and you ask, hey, what do you bring? And I say, look at this body. Girl, look at this body. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, look at this body. Yeah. I work out. Yeah. Not really. Exactly. But this, the point is, you would look at me crazy. You would say, that's ridiculous. I can't, I'm not taking you serious as a man. How's that a valid answer? From you? Not to mention that if all you are offering is looks, mm. that's basically giving me... Or that's basically just offering a perishable. Because as time goes on, we get older. You need to build yourself up. Build up your assets. Build up your, your worth over time. Because looks, although may be great to capitalize on when you're young. Mm -hmm. They diminish. Yeah, they will diminish. And mm -hmm. it will be expensive to keep up with the Joneses. Trust mm -hmm. me, I've seen this time and time again. So, yeah. Learn to, to build up your wealth. When, when With guys, we, as far as our wall, anyways, I'm not, when do we, when do we hit that wall? What age? It's hard I mean, to it's, say. it's hard to say because money plays a thing. It's status. So, yeah. there's, I mean, Kevin Samuels, as we all know, that's a big deal. The man's 51, 52 years old, and he still has 20-something, 30-somethings getting at him because he's a high-value man. He, he has the, the income. He has the look. He has everything that a woman wants. So, 
I would say it in a way, yes, it's a little unfair. As men get older, we elect, we get more distinguishable and everything like that. And women are older women are not necessarily sought after because the looks have diminished. Most guys are looking for the 20 somethings. Not too often are they looking for something in the 30s unless they're older men who are in their 40s or 50s. Then they might but be looking for it. I have noticed something, though. What is that? I have noticed that there are some older women who would be considered established. You know, they have the money and everything going on. You'll find them going after the younger guys. Yeah. Just like you'll see the older guys going after the younger women. Yeah. So... It's not just a, a man versus woman kind of thing, you know. It's all about building yourself up mm -hmm. for for whatever you are looking for and vice versa. And why someone may want to choose you over the latter. Because obviously you're not getting what you want and that's why you're watching this video. Exactly. So it comes down kind of as it is preferences. So that's another thing we'll cover in another video. That's a completely different oh, topic yeah. when it comes to preferences. But there's preferences, you know, with height, you know, skin color, right? There's so many different things, and a lot of that stems from childhood or whatever. But the, the point is, that's a completely different topic. That's something that that's you, you as a person, you need to figure out is what you're into. And on top of that, if you're setting this high bar, especially if you've got, if you're a woman, you're in your mid 30s, and you've got kids or children or whatever, you got to understand. The most men, especially if you want a guy that's single, that's around your age range or whatever, you you get the younger ones, but you're not gonna get the ones that are necessarily the ones you want because they're not after that. Not a lot of us want pre-made families. A lot of us have dated. I've dated plenty. You've dated plenty of people who have had children, and yes, we've we've had good and bad times with them, and we don't base our future relationships or any type of interactions with other women based on this, but just from experiences we've had. Right. It is a lot to deal with. Right. You, know, you got family dynamics because now you're being introduced to a family. So they've already got themselves established, whatever the father or fathers has going on. So now you're a new person entering this new dynamic. So yeah. it's getting that balance, dealing with that. And no matter what anybody says, it's going to be it, it's stress. And as somebody who's moving towards their ambition or towards their goals, you know, do you really want any other unduly stress that you, you know, could avoid? You yeah. know, that's and something that you don't want to you don't want to have to deal with. You and want if peace. you're and if you're fifty something years old and you you're you're successful, you're you you've you've made it to where you want to go, you've already been through all this stress mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. So you look at these kind of situations, you're like, you know what? I don't want to deal with that because I know exactly how that goes down. Yep. So it's all about learning. You know, if you go through life making the same mistakes over and over again, then you're more insane than <laughs> anything else how do you make any progress if you continue to do the same you've been making all these same right turns for the last 20 30 40 50 some years and it just it would just all it takes is you making one little different decision to take this left turn instead of me going with this you know maybe taking a look and saying why what's the common denominator usually you as the person is the common denominator with all these bad relationships all these bad interactions not saying they weren't bad people or they, weren't, they didn't have bad intentions it's just maybe you need to look inwardly what's drawing you to them. So all in all, guys, it is it is based on you know getting out there. Dating is not easy these days. It isn't, especially for guys. It's, it's not very easy. very hard. It's you know? it is competitive. Which we'll I guarantee we'll do a we'll do a video we'll, we'll on too. on on this dating thing, especially when it comes to like the dating apps because I have. <laughs> I have some stories for you guys. I do, I do too. It's just... But um, yeah, with that said, that's the wall. Please, if you have any input, leave them in the comments below. We'll try to respond back to you guys. You know, mm -hmm. we'll keep it civil because, you know, we want to have a discussion with you guys. Mm -hmm. um, with that said, subscribe, like, all that fancy stuff for the YouTube algorithm. Help us out. Help us out. Yep. My name is Burnt Reynolds. You black, Ben? And I'm out. Outro.